Good evening, afternoon. We got a bagger for y'all today, baby. What we got for you is a reaction video to Jev. He decided to spectate Rebirth Island at three in the morning. Now, that turns the lobbies into, well, let's just say Tim is probably one of the better players in one of these lobbies. As always, Jeb's YouTube's in the description. Check him out. Good buddy. Please sub to him. He's the legend, man. In my opinion, he's, he's the GOAT of Call of Duty YouTubers, in my opinion. One of the, one of the GOATs. Say that. Yeah, multiple GOATs, right? Kind of like a... Like a farmer. He have farms for GOATs. <laughs> Also in this video, just so you guys know at the front, we talk a lot about UFC. I say we, but Jev is really just talking about the old UFC fight, but then I was pausing and kind of talking about it with Jev. It's kind of like I did a podcast with Jev, but he didn't know he was like part of it. And I was, I, it was like, yeah, it was good. I, I think you guys are gonna like this. And if you do, hit the like button for me, hit the sub button for me. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love me. I'll catch you in the next one was one of the most insane right, I've ever watched in my life. All right, what's going on, guys? I agree. Jeff, oh, this must be an older one, then. In the morning, the UFC event so he's, I was going to say, if he's talking about Max Holloway and stuff, this is definitely a little bit of an older maybe one. Maybe like an hour or 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago, something like that. That was insane. I think I went like eight and five on my picks. Definitely not the best. <laughs> but at least I went positive, I yeah. guess. So I'm here over on Resurgence. I lost a lot and of I money. Figured, hey, I haven't spectated any Resurgence yet. And especially since Can't it's win like them late all, at though. night. It's you late know? at night on a Saturday. We'll see what we get. Maybe some demons, maybe some Martian type shit. But dude, that card was ridiculous is, it this, had is so this jeb's first time spectating rebirth i feel like i haven't seen him spectating rebirth island so before moments. Whips, it was not you know. a single bad fight on that entire card you could like look at a fight and see which one was the most boring this or isn't his first time but none okay. of them were bad like any of them they can only potentially be bad in comparison to some of the best fights i've seen some of the best moments crazy from top to bottom so when i, I mean max on resurgence i should Max's fight right? was oh, unbelievable, bro. I was about to give a compliment to Battlefield. Right, let's spectate here. Place 44th. Spectating for Sanity. Got a WSP and it looks like a yeah a Ram on the other hand. Dude, Figgy versus Garbrandt. Figgy ended up out grappling Garbrandt. Ended up getting the submission. I definitely cut down a lot of my prediction stuff because I could have that video could have been over 20 minutes long if I left <laughs> everything in there. But I cut it down to like 14 minutes. But I mentioned his grappling and everything. I also mentioned a, quite a few other things for other fights as well. Like the fact that I thought Jim Miller would win because I thought that he would actually grapple. He didn't grapple at all he just literally just tried to stand and bang with bobby green and bobby was just way better but sanity just goes down didn't hear the person behind him at all Wait, he's not on the same building as him though there's multiple people looking over at him he sees a sniper glint he's rezzing he's gonna stand back up and get sniped immediately when okay nope. this is i i'm actually gonna pause and just like one second tangent here when did self-revive come into this game call of duty when was the vi was, that wasn't like i think i was talking to jack about it I was talking to someone just about the concept of self-revive, and I couldn't remember when it got implemented into Call of Duty. I mean, you had, la what was it, Last Stand in MW2, right? But that wasn't a self. And the, the reason I ask is because a lot of people, I, I'm kind of, I don't know if some of you have experienced this, but a lot of people are actually torn on self-revive. Meaning, um, I think there's people out there that love it, and there's people out there that don't like it at all. Let me know in the comments about like when that was and if you like self revive or not. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back and just look at this. I'm curious. Sorry, Jeff. I didn't mean to interrupt you, bro. Damn, he got shit on. on him somehow. Where'd the other guy go? Dame got the snipe. Oh man, this cat. It might have been for dance squips. I can't really remember it before that. Even things out, but he didn't do that. He just stood in there like a warrior. Andrade ended up beating Rodriguez. Might have been blackout. Surprisingly, beat Jalen Turner. After Jalen Turner hurt Moicano, I think like two or three times. He hurt him with a body kick, then he got him with a knockdown. But eventually, Moicano ended up uh, being able Holly to Holly Holm was on that card too, right? You, to your left. Dame, to your left. Dame, behind you. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, oh, Rebirth is Island at 4 a.m. is cooked, he bro. Left, and he's dead. Just got killed by a guy cooked. with a default loadout and everything. John Exotic, flying across, got four kills. All right. He's looting. You hear someone underneath of him. Right below you, also above you. Oh, yeah, he laid it down right there. He's Taking shots at him, he's gonna chase him down, pulls out WSP. He runs upstairs, he's chasing him down, but he's gotta be very careful. Oh man, his sensitivity is too high. Why is he running in a circle? Is he, he good? Bro, I'm not kidding, this looks like me out of controller, bro. Following him. He lost it literally does. You can hear him walking around above him though. He's pinging that he has no ammo to himself. 
Another player just drops down out of the other building. Another default skin just drops him. Get me on Rebirth Island at five in the morning, bro. Oh my lord. I didn't expect him to win like that easily, but he did. Kayla Harrison ended up ragdolling Holly Holm. These were a little bit easier to predict. Algermain Sterling looked really good against Calvin Cater. Just nothing spectacular in comparison to the other moments in all these fights. Diego Lopez got that good finish, real quick finish. Super hype. People love him. Kayla Harrison was very impressive. A lot of people are saying that she's going to be champion. Amanda Nunes actually said, I don't know about that. I might come back and beat your ass. He was tweeting and shit. So Aljamain's <laughs> performance doesn't really stand out as well, but he still I love how much Jeff loves UFC. Bro. Yuri Prohaska against Alexander Rakic. Yuri was initially losing a little bit. He wasn't too far behind, but he was definitely behind Rakic. Jeff he just has ever gone to a UFC thing fight. That Rakic ended up throwing at him. If he wasn't. I do want to say, like, I'm, I'm kind of torn on UFC. UFC Live is so hype, okay? But I guess this is just sporting events in general. Like, you know, people always say you can go to the game, but there's no better spot than your couch and a TV, right? Because, like, UFC, I was at, um, gosh, one, how long ago was this? Connor Cowboy? That was what? Whips? Like, four years ago? That was so long ago. That might be five years ago. I went, I went, so I went to that fight, and it was a very cool experience to just be there and hear the crowd. But at the same time, I could, you can't really fully see what was happening like i saw that that connor Con and to be fair that was such a weird way for that to finish where connor had him in like that you know the close grapple and he's like giving him a shoulder right so it's kind of i was like what the hell is going on but it was like it's kind of the same thing with like you know football like there's no announcers right and you just basically see you know they get to the center buffer comes out bam 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 fight starts and then you just, you really just hear the hitting which is kind of crazy too but it was a very cool experience to be at but at the same time man maybe it's just too because i'm i'm like getting older you know it's just so nice to be able to just sit at home and i mean that's the best seat in the Dodging house it, right? he would take it on the chin and just like look at him like he was silly. But i wonder if jeff has ever been one because he loves ufc so much going you know? and it's just all over oh no wait soul grab he sees a player take some shots at him anyway even though he knew that he wasn't going to be able to kill him this is like me podcasting with jeff in. but he doesn't know we're podcasting together bro oh man he's weak taking shots he actually kept challenging that. That's crazy to do. Diego takes him down. Yuri ended up coming back, just eating multiple shots and then just hurting Rakic. This was a matchup that I was scared of for Yuri for years. You don't understand. I was afraid of this fight. I thought Rakic would be able to, you know, throw the leg kicks, potentially even wrestle with Yuri and stuff. And he just stood and just ended up trying to crack with Yuri. And that's just always a terrible idea, apparently. Bo Nickel beats Cody Brundage, but honestly didn't look as good as you were expecting him to be. So I thought Bo was going to win that a lot faster. Diego is trying to chop people. Out of the sky. Charles Oliveira ended up losing a decision to Armand Saruki, and some people feel like uh, Charles got robbed there, but I don't really think so. Arm I thought this really is like a Tim and Jeff podcast. I thought Charles won, me personally. Now, did I have money on Charles? Yes. And if Charles would have won, would my parlay have hit? Yes. So I might be a little. A little bias and to be fair jeff does know a lot more about probably ufc just fighting in general than i do but like from a i'll, I'll call myself a, a, a pretty casual ufc fan i'll watch a lot of the fights not all of them though right i think jeff watches like every card i don't watch every card right I it just to me looked like Charles won, but I guess at the end of the day, that's Armand what very, the judges very good. are for. I don't know why people dislike Armand. I guess they find him boring in some ways because he's just like holding people down. But he's absolutely going for finishes. It's not like he only goes there to hold people down. He does ground and pound. He absolutely does. Another player landed up above him. He just returns fire, cracks him immediately. He has an SVA with that huge compensator on the front of it. You really don't need that. There's like barely any recoil on this weapon. It was a good fight though. Definitely high level, lots of scrambles and some good strikes here and there for both of them. Good ground and pound from Armand and he won. To me, I feel like Armand won fair and square. I think all decisions were completely fine. Then Justin Gaethje against Max Holloway. I yeah. thought Justin Gaethje was going to win that. I thought he'd be too big, too strong. Max, Max Holloway just completely outstruck Max Gaethje. is also my boy, you know? I think a had to do with uh, a strike that Max landed initially. Oh, I see somebody behind him, Diego. He's looking at this Someone building. else I top two left too, bro. Yep. I think he's gonna end up pushing in there. Oh, the Jeff, dude, you're so smart. Same door he got shot from. He's picking out again. Get shot again. How's this thing? He's gonna throw in some little mines on the front and not chase them. Okay. Just Isn't it amazing? Okay. I will go to this. Like you have Jeff, who Jeff has probably way more Call of Duty hours than me, and you have me part-time Call of Duty content creator, and I don't think either of us know what he just threw in there. I and see if you can catch him in there. Yep, throws out another trip mine thing, and then you should take a- I, I don't window. know what that thing- Is it a trip mine? Look at the windows. He can see you standing there. In the bottom left-hand corner, it looks like he threw down like a- right. 
Okay. It was a good fight back and forth, like but in the first round, right at the nut. end, Max Holloway ended up doing this spinning back kick for the first time, which actually landed multiple times. But the first one he threw ended up actually landing right, right as uh, Gaethje was leaning down and away round. from him. It connected right on his nose and broke his nose in round one. And I think that really affected Gaethje. From that point forward, I think Max was up four rounds. Maybe you could say 3-1. Final round, the last 15 seconds or so, Max, Max Holloway goes, points out of the center of the octagon and says, yo, just swing. And he's done this multiple times with multiple people over his entire career. Every time he does it, it's amazing. And with one second left, he ends up sleeping Justin Gaethje out cold, face that was such down a good on the fight, canvas. Though, bro. Insane so good, man. finish. One of the best finishes I've ever seen. John Lee Lee actually had a close fight with Yan Zhao Nan. I will say that I definitely underestimated Yan Zhao Nan, although that, that, I think that, that Lee Lee just kind of blew close. a lot of her energy initially, trying to get the finish early. I think in the it was fight the second round she, she got Yan up on her. Nan in a terrible position early. Yeah. She took a little while to recover after that point. Throws what in the hell is he throwing, bro? Another trip thingy. Okay, man, no one's coming through that door. I promise. You. <laughs> and then Alex Pereira ends up KOing Jamal Hill out cold. I actually have a screenshot right when Alex Pereira's I, uh, left uh, hook was connecting. Jamal movie? Hill actually throws a... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, Diego oh picks up God. that little kill right there. Yeah, I bet Jamal Hill, by the way. Stairs so, down. GG, Tim. killed each other, yeah. So, that guy ended up killing him. That was a separate one, just to be clear, from the Oliveira. I was saying that they're both open to these strikes. One. Alex Pereira is very open to the southpaw straight down the middle. Jamal Hill is really susceptible to that left hook. They both threw those exact same punches at the same time. Jamal's punch makes it there first, but it actually goes crazy. by Alex's face. So Jamal made it there first, like I said it would, but he missed. He was off the mark, and then the left hook lands on Jamal, instantly drops him onto his back, eyes roll back in his head. Still there, though, and then Alex follows through with the ground and pound, puts him out cold, and now Alex Pereira wants to go and fight a heavyweight. It, it is insane. That I gotta pause and tell you guys what Whips just said to me. All right, so Whips goes, batting out Jamal Hill in that fight's crazy. So, um... Let me tell you guys what Whips did, all right? So I had a lot of parlays in, and Whips usually, I always tell him to link me all of his UFC parlays, okay? Because Whips is a gambling degenerate, to be honest, and he bets on like everything, all right? But he really bets on a lot of UFC, okay? And he's won quite a bit. So I told Whips, I want every parlay you're putting in, not that I'm gonna put everyone in, but I just wanna see everyone, all right? So, I actually, for this time, because I was so interested in this card, I put every parlay that Whips gave me. I think he gave me, like, three. Whips, after the fight, goes, oh, look at this. And he hit, what was it, Whips? A 10-leg parlay, right? 10? Yeah, he just linked me. It. He has a screenshot. Okay, ready for this, guys? $5 into $1,000. Ten leg parlay, and he goes forgot to link this one. Comment down below. I'm, just gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be sifting through these comments, bro. Tell me if I should deduct pay. I feel like I. I feel like I'm sorry, Jeff, for really cutting you off here in the middle of your video. You've just with uh, this is a lot of UFC stuff, and I love that, and I love like reacting to stuff like this and talking like with Jeff kind of about it, even though he's not talking back to me, and I'm basically just talking to myself and you guys, but. Should I deduct Whips' pay because he didn't link me that one parlay? He goes, oh, dude, forgot about this one. And of course, it's the one that hits, bro. That doesn't change the fact that Jamal Hill was a terrible bet. I don't know, dude, okay? I had a couple Hard cocktails I lied about. I don't know what to tell you. my expectations, to be honest with you. I was so hype at the Yuri shit. I was hype at the Max Holloway shit. Even on the fights that I got wrong, and Baps just goes down, all right? Lil Sky now. Only six players left. Wait, these games go really fast. Holy shit, no wonder people play this a lot. And you're talking about UFC the entire time. He's got 12 kills. People tweeting at me, mad at it's me. They're like, dude, you fucked up my parlay. It's like, dude, first of all, I'm not telling you to bet. I don't gamble. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I love it. So does Whip. Wait, so. what is Max Holloway doing? He runs past them and he just That dies. is funny if people do zone, make Jeff parlays, though, because he's just casually just talking about his picks. Win. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's not. Fighting predictions are some of the dumbest predictions you can do, especially true. MMA. That's high key true. Name. Street Outlaws cleans player up. Yeah, I, I could drop. Shot now he runs into the I could guy drop that he a PR knew was there. In that I lobby, by the way, the for sure. He's sitting there cleaning up all the people fighting right can, in front yeah. of him. Dude, never even, look at him. Look how comfy he is. Look at this guy. He's just comfy as shit. Just watching everybody kill each other right in front of him, and he just picks up the kill. Why are they floating? Where are those lobbies, bro? Slow motion. It's just sitting here. 5 a.m. Rebirth it's Island? Lagging, I'm dude. setting an alarm, dude. Surgeons, okay? What the fuck is going <laughs> on? There's no way this entire ending sequence is going to be in slow motion. Oh, wait, it's smoothing out. Will it speed up now? Okay, there goes the rope. Wait, it's it, it's got the kill cam? What the fuck? It's Reaches got the, like, Attaches it to the uh, the line. Dude, it's got like there the kill cam slow-mo. <laughs> 
Okay, that's actually hilarious. Uh, I mean, I know that that guy ended up winning, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I feel like I'm watching 300 again. You know, I know that 300 is a well-respected movie, but I swear there's got to be at least 30 plus minutes of just slow motion in that movie. The movie would literally be 30 minutes shorter without the slow motion. Even the text isn't following itself. Is it still going to go in slow motion? There is no way they're doing all of this. It's just going in slow motion, even though I can just... It looks normal. I think the water and everything's moving fine. Okay, good. I've never seen that in regular. Is that just a resurgence thing or... I got people tweeting at me all pissed off. They're like, dude, my five dollar 13 leg parlay didn't hit fuck you never listen to you again it's like i mean that's your stupid ass fault of course it missed <laughs> of course you didn't get it it's one of the most yeah unless your whips volatile things right. to bet on are you dumb i just unless your whips gonna win and who i want to win you put money on that shit i encourage nobody to do none of that shit that's your fault <laughs> that is true that he high key bro um you know hey if betting is betting right i always say you got to be comfortable with what you're betting with all right have some fun with it be responsible, obviously. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And you could be like whips and in a 10 leg parlay and not tell your friends. I'm still pissed about it. I, yeah, I am.